What up, YouTube? It's a Mrs. Vapor. I got another review for you today. It's on the Jabo Designs in VLS comp cap. That's the box. That's what it looks like. It's that comp cap. All right. It's made for the. It's made specifically, pretty much for the Vector, but it also is compatible with the Vulcan, the Tobe, the Plume Veil, and many more RDAs. Okay. It's got the same airflow. This is the reg regular uh, Vector cap. It's got the same airflow as that, but you see that inside? You see that little, uh, you know how those little holes go closer to the coils, if you know about the Vector? All right. The difference between that one and this one is that it doesn't have those. All right. So this is higher up. Okay. And it's got a, you know, wider chuff top. But uh, I definitely like this comp. I, I definitely like this top cap, the comp cap, more than the regular one on the Vector. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's nice. It's made out of 304 stainless steel. It's $20 on VaporLifestyle.com. I'll put a link in the description for you guys if you want to go snag one. So $20 is a great price. It looks nice. I like it. It's got that chuff top. I like that. Now, I like that you could build the coils higher on with this comp cap, okay? Uh, and it fits on other RDAs, which is cool. And, you know, it's got the same type of airflow, like I told you. But, uh, you know, there's some cons to it. But let me give you some uh, vapor production. I got a dual parallel 24 gauge anarchist anti wrap in here. All right. I got 115 watts, 4 volts, just like if it was on a mechanical mod. And uh, 0.1 ohm build. Here we go. Flavor's good. Flavor's definitely good. I, I like that, you know, this is a lot better without this, the mesh shield. So if you do have this regular comp cap, take that mesh shield out. It makes a substantial difference with the flavor and the vapor production on your Vector. And this one is great, man. I like the design. I love the looks of it. All right? I like the chuff top on it. You can drip right through the chuff top. Flavor on it, man. Flavor is good. I think flavor is just as good as the regular uh, comp cap. Vape production ain't bad. Um, you know the, the the cons that I have with it. I don't know why they didn't think of this, but when this if this gets hot, it's not really getting hot on me now. But when it does get hot. The heat's going to transfer to your mouth because that's stainless steel as well. So I wish that they just put a Delrin insert inside of the chuff top or made the chuff top Delrin or peak or something so that the heat does not transfer. Because you could take this top part off. I'm not going to take it off because I try to do this review eight times. And when you take this off, the airflow adjustment that's in here, okay, it's a pain in the ass. I don't know why they made it like that, but it's very hard to adjust the airflow. You have to line up the holes correctly. And if you don't get the holes lined up correctly, when you tighten it down, they move. So then you have to loosen it off again. Then you have to line this little piece. Then you, you tighten it down. And then you have to keep messing with it. And, you know, that's a con as well. I wish they just took that off and just made the four airflow holes. Or they did it, or they did the adjustment of the airflow differently. Because, uh, you know, it's... Really, a, it's it's a pain in the ass. I try to take it off and, and, and do it without the thing, but it looks retarded because that fin in the middle is missing. So it just looks like there's a big gap between the two, and it, it doesn't look nice. It just it looks really wonky. So um, you know, I wish they they did something different on that. Uh, what else can I tell you about it though? I mean. I haven't tried to put it on my plume veil. It probably fits on the plume veil. They say it fits. It probably does fit. But the only thing I'd be worried about is that the on the plume veil, you got the air coming in from the side behind the coil. This would cover that because, you know, that's in the deck. And this doesn't have the holes, you know, on the sides. You know what I mean? So you, you wouldn't, you would lose the airflow on the plume veil with that. So... You know, I wouldn't really, I wouldn't suggest using the plume veil. I got the plume veil right next to me. I love that thing. And uh, it's because the air is coming behind the coils. That that thing is still one of the most innovative RDAs to date. I don't care what anybody says. 
that's still my almost number one, number two RDA of all times. But, you know, so, I mean, you could try it on the Plumville, you know, but uh, I like it on the, the Vector, you know, because because of that. The simple fact, because it, that slams down and you have to put your, your builds very low, close to the deck. Now, with it this way, man, uh, I like it. I, I highly enjoy it, man. It seems like there's an airier draw. It's the same airflow, but it, it seems a little airier for some reason. Uh, maybe because it, it, it's higher above the, the coils than the regular uh, comp cap. And they do have an additional, they call it a comp cap, but uh, I, they sent me this as well. And this is supposed to be the, the first comp cap before this came out with JBO. This was made just by VLS, and it's not... I wouldn't call it a comp cap. I would call it a 510 adapter because that's made for a 510. So I used it. I didn't really like it. I don't know why they even, you know, honestly made this thing. Uh, I really don't know why they made it. Oh, I dropped it. Um, but it does. That one comes in this box. Okay. It says Vulcan on it. All right. And that's made for uh, the Vulcan or the Vector. You know, their RDAs that they, they, they produce and manufacture. But... Uh, I do like this. I do recommend this comp cap. If you do have the vector, it's just a lot easier to build on it, and it it does uh, it works well. I just I wish they did something with the airflow differently on this comp cap. You know, uh, the, I like how the airflow is coming from the top. It does give good flavor, but I just wish they did something differently with the adjustment of uh, you know the the airflow because you, I, I I know you want to see it. You know what I mean. I'll, whatever, I'll fucking do it. If it fucks up, it fucks up, okay? So you just take this thing off, all right? Then you have this little piece on here. You have this little piece, okay? And then what you do is you just put that on, you line it up, okay? And then you just take this and you, the way you want the airflow, and then you just screw this down until it touches, you know? And that's what it's supposed to do. Now it seems like it's working all right, but if I took this off and I looked at the back of it, the holes might not be completely lined up because when you tighten it down, if you tighten it down too much, that disc moves on you. And when it moves, it closes the airflow off. When it closes the airflow off, you're not getting the airflow that you that you specifically put it on for. So that's a little bit of a con. That That, that is a con, but overall, you know, I like it and I do... Recommend it. It's only 20 bucks, man. So, found this video helpful. Please leave a like, share, subscribe. And remember, smoking is gone, vaping is on. Vape on, guys. Deuce.